Today we are going to talk about my plans for 2023. 2022 was a fantastic year, we had some great experiences. However, I think we can build on it and do something new and different for 2023. So stick around, let's get into it. I ran my first Centurion races back in 2016. I did the South Downs Way 50 to start with in April of that year, but then by June of 2016, I ran my first 100 mile race. It was the full South Downs Way National Trail. Centurion are the go-to company here in the southeast of England for really well organised, scenic and challenging 50 and 100 mile races. Since 2016, I've been on the start line of a further seven 100 mile Centurion races, at least one a year until 2022, but I haven't finished all of them. I DNF'd both my first attempts at the Thames Path 100 and the North Downs Way 100, and I also DNF'd my second attempt at the South Downs Way 100 but I now have five Centurion 100 mile finishers buckles. You get a different type of buckle depending on whether you finish in under or over 24 hours. So far, I've managed three sub 24 hour finishes, including my 100 mile PB of 21 hours and 33 minutes set at the South Downs Way in 2021. However, I am yet to finish the North Downs Way 100, having DNF'd in 2019, and I've never even entered the other major Centurion 100 mile race, the Autumn 100. That will change in 2023. So hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the video and you're keen to see what plans I have for 2023. One of my major goals for next year is to complete the Centurion 100 mile Grand Slam. That involves completing all four of the iconic Centurion 100 mile races, starting in May 2023 with the Thames Path 100. Continuing with the South Downs Way 100 in June, the North Downs Way in August, and finishing with the Autumn 100 in October. If I manage it, I will jump a long way up the Centurion Hall of Fame leaderboard, and I'll also receive the special 400 mile Centurion buckle. Sandwiched three quarters of the way through the Grand Slam, however, we are back in Chamonix for my first crack at the full 100 mile UTMB race. We've been to Chamonix four times now. I finished CCC back in 2018, followed by two failed attempts at TDS, finally completing that race at my third attempt this year. As a result of completing the inaugural Val d'Oran 100 in the Pyrenees in 2021, I was given a golden ticket entry to the full UTMB, which I deferred in order to complete TDS, I'm now taking up that place for 2023. Which means that I will be trying to complete five 100 mile races between May and October next year. There will be no time goals, no official time goals for these events, but strictly between you and me, I would really like to break 20 hours at the Autumn 100 in October. It's a flat, fast course and it's prime for a good 100 mile time. But please don't tell anybody, just between you and me. I'm well aware that I may be too fatigued having already done four 100 milers, but we'll just see how it goes and fingers crossed we can do something a little bit quicker at the Autumn 100. Do please tell me your goals, your targets for 2023. What races are you entering and what are you hoping to achieve? Other targets for me for 2023 are a fast Paris Marathon in April. So this is before any of the 100 milers. 
We are starting to train already and there will be a training series covering my Paris Marathon training block starting in January. I've set aside three months for a solid training block to get up to speed after Christmas. The ideal goal is another sub three marathon, but let's see what happens with the training block. I'll do my best to eat better and to put in more interval sessions. My 10K PB is getting rather old. It's nearly 10 years past its sell-by date now. So it really needs a refresh. At some point in 2023, I would really like to have a go at beating 39 minutes, 43 seconds for 10 kilometers. So for all that and more, do please keep watching the channel. If you would like to see me suffer and DNF my very first Thames Path 100, then do click that link right there. Have a fantastic Christmas, everyone. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I will see you on the start line in 2023.